All right. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Snow day. All right. So we are not in the building today, but we are still doing our virtual session. So we still have our 730 in the morning, our 1120 and 1 p.m and two o'clock office hours. So we have three different virtual classes for you to choose from. You should be able to make one of those three no matter what school you're in, uh, because we are all doing remote learning today, or at least we are for Wilco. Uh, so again, make sure you come in at either 7.30, 11.20, or 1 p.m. And then if you're unable to join any of those three, you can hop on at two o'clock for office hours. Do keep in mind with office hours, guys, that we are still requiring you to complete your bell work and reviewing what we are doing in class for the day. So definitely make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, so you're not just gonna be able to be like, hi, bye. It's, it, there's, there's stuff happening uh, when you join us for those office hours. Uh, so keep that in mind. So again, no physical sessions, you should have already gotten an announcement. Uh, it deleted from the calendar invitation, uh, but we still have those virtual classes this afternoon and this morning. Um, so make sure you guys are there. Uh, your announcement question is how, if, how do you guys like being remote versus being physical during this time? So um, what are some of the benefits of for you guys if some of you are enjoying being remote or if you really enjoy being in the classroom? What are you enjoying about either or? So what are your feelings on the remote versus in person right now? That is your announcement question. Uh, some announcements for this week, Friday, we do have our physical session of our physical FFA meeting at two o'clock on Friday to go over the vet science competition. So those of you that are intending to compete, um, there should be a calendar invitation sent out to you guys. Uh, if you haven't gotten one, but you're interested in competing in the vet science CDE, you do need to be an FFA member. Uh, but other than that, you're good. So just send me an email that says VETSI CDE, and we can see what we can do about getting you guys uh, registered to compete. Do remember that we started selling our boxes of chocolate this week or last week. So if you want to pre-order, you can pre-order a box of chocolate. The link should be in your Google Classroom. It's just $60. If you don't have a any information on chocolate in your Google Classroom, but you want to sell a box, please make sure you shoot me an email with the subject chocolate so I can get that information out to you. And then if you've pre-ordered, uh, let me know when you get to class and then we can get your boxes of chocolate out to you guys. Uh, double check your invitations for your physical attendance for Wilco for this week. They're already up and in your calendar uh, for what times and things. So make sure you're RSVPing for those. And again, no class today. Do not go to Wilco today. Uh, join us on our virtual sessions. Um, and so that is this week's stuff that's going on. The questions that you guys had from Friday were pretty awesome. Uh, some of you were asking about animal room things and being able to work with the animals. Again, same thing goes with you need to make sure that you're staying up to date on all of your coursework and that you're not behind or missing assignments. If you're missing assignments and that's your priority uh, before we go into that animal room, uh, but hopefully more of you guys are going to be coming into the classroom. So we'll be able to uh, uh, divvy up those tasks in the animal room more so as well. So and socialize those animals uh, more. So hopefully that it will happen uh, after all this cold weather though. Um, somebody was asking about the SQ3Rs. We will be having more of those. Uh, there is a lot of content for you for unit five as well as unit six coming up. Uh, so please, 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 as we're going over the SQ3Rs, ask questions, ask, ask, ask. Uh, the more, like I won't be able to help you with the SQ3Rs if I don't know what your questions are. So do try to articulate that. Um, either in the exit ticket questions or when we're actually in class. Uh, so that way I can review those things with you. And do remember that first SQ3R we had, there is a video uh, on what, how to formulate questions and things of that nature. So review that video. We'll make another one the next time we do an SQ3R as well. So hopefully you guys have that information and they're not as much of a struggle. Uh, those should really be helping you guys learn the information that we're reviewing. Um, 
somebody had a really cool question about asking if the size in species and breeds makes a shot more or less difficult. So we've been learning about venipuncture, right, and medication administration utilizing a needle. Uh, so it's kind of a cool question because there's a variety of answers. So not just the species and the size of an animal, uh, but also the hydration level of an animal affects your venipuncture and your ability to be able to inject medication. Uh, the breed absolutely makes a difference, but also how rotund if your animal's excessively fat, uh, that will also change you being able to get a um, venipuncture or an insertion into the vein on even your uh, muscular injections. You're going to um, definitely make sure you're watching those a little bit more to make sure you are in fact into the muscle of the animal. Uh, sharp hays have very papery skin, all the oil and it's just a very interesting skin. So they're going to be a little bit different to um, insert a needle into. You also have uh, your male cats that have been castrated or neutered versus those cats that have male cats that have not been neutered. So the thickness of the skin actually changes. So whether or not your animal is intact also then affects, at least for cats, for male cats also affects that injection. And even cat skin is different than dog skin as well. Um, so how you are injecting that, the pressure that you're going to apply is going to be different. Um, and, but definitely it's one of the things where you might be scared to poke the animal with the needle, right? And again, this is where hesitation will cause more of an issue versus just going in and being confident and just like boom, boom, being done with it. Uh, so the more you practice, the more confident you'll get in there. Um, somebody was talking, so that is the answer to that question or the best that I can do. So yes, all of the above, it absolutely affects it. Uh, somebody was struggling with coming up with pictures uh, to draw for the notes uh, to help you remember the terms. So we did a really cool pair deck last week uh, with your notes and um, choosing vocabulary words and finding images for that and drawing. Well, somebody showed me a trick. You guys can actually copy and paste clip art. So if you are struggling with drawing, by all means, use some clip art in there. Uh, have fun with it. Again, it should be able to to assist you in remembering some of those words. And today's notes, we will be doing notes today. And we're going to be doing a new slide called drawing conclusions. So with this, I really want you guys to dig into comparing and contrasting the videos and writing as though, like, I want you to like close your eyes and imagine you completing the task. What would it look like for you to walk into an examination room and perform this particular treatment on an animal? What are you going to do? How are you going to hold? How are you going to... Um, how are you going to actually perform the task? What are you going to do with the animal? How are you going to talk to it? How are you going to approach it? Uh, so I really want you to dive into that today when we're doing our notes. So this will be a new, a new little interaction with our pair deck. So hopefully you guys have fun with that one. Uh, somebody asked if and when a dog tilts its head to loud noises, if it's a bad thing. Um, I'm not, don't necessarily believe it's a bad thing. Think about um, if there's a loud noise, the animal might be adjusting its head to be able to hear it uh, better or differently. Uh, so that's something that you gotta think about, but definitely ask your veterinarian about it um, to see if, if it's an extra loud noise. I'm not sure what the decibels are for animals that would then end up getting ear issues um, right with the people if we hear noises at uh, too high of a decibel then we can actually cause our own ear damage hearing damage but i'm not sure about for dogs what that would be and let's see i think those are most of the questions yeah you you okay cool um and then some of you guys are starting to struggle with uh, work and balance and school, right? So your work school balance. Uh, biggest suggestion for you guys is make sure that you are not working during the school day. Uh, so keep that school day time sacred. Uh, even if you're like, oh, I want to work all of the hours, uh, you still need to make sure that you are doing well in school uh, because many of you are going to be going to college. And if you're not, you're going into trade schools. And if you're not doing either of those, at least get a high school degree uh, so you can have that on your resume because um, it'll be better than not having one at all. 
Uh, but definitely make that school time, that school day sacred. So I would suggest getting a printout of what your bell schedule is and setting an alarm on your phone so it actually rings, like have a bell go off when your period would be. Um, and you can set that up in your phone so that way it's like you're at school. So that bell will ring and then I'll be like, oh, I have to go to my next class, even if it's just closing a window and opening up a new one. Uh, but that may help you guys uh, set aside that time and use alarms, use something to uh, to help keep you focused on, on balancing that time and kind of push yourself through. Uh, definitely once you've completed your work, give yourself a reward, uh, something that is fun for you. Maybe you put your phone away for 30 minutes and then you text somebody afterwards when you're all done with your thing or you watch your TikTok after you finished your homework. So um, it's definitely difficult because you have to hold yourself accountable, but I know you guys can. You've made it this far. You can, you can keep going, persevere with it. All right, so those, I think, I want to say are all of our announcements. No school today. You're going to, well, you have school, but just not physical local classes, so virtual all day. Uh, make sure you check your RSVPs. Friday is our in-person 2 o'clock FFA meeting. We have our Unit 5 assessment on the 26th, so that is coming up. Uh, so make sure you guys are watching that because all of your uh, coursework from this point for or from before to now they, all that unit five stuff is going to go away after the 26th so definitely keep an eye out for that um, other than that have a great day i'll see you guys online this afternoon and this morning and then i'll see you in person tomorrow